Just one race to go, and it is the feature race, the men's invitational three kilometres, with three reigning Olympic champions. It's not often you can say that. Let's hear from them. Um, my name is Aspel Kipro, the 2008 Beijing Olympic 1500 meters champion. I come from Kenya. It excites me a lot since it motivated me last year. I mean, we came here and, 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 and ran together with my, my colleagues and managed to f finish second and, and, and I went to, on to win the World Championships that year. So it's a great preparation for being ahead of uh, the coming games. They are big, I mean, they are great athletes and uh, top class athletes. You can, you can imagine every athlete would want to win the Olympics, want to be an Olympic champion like them. So they, they are great athletes, which means um, tomorrow I'm going to race in a high class field. Uh, my name is Primin Gubruta, Beijing 3000 meters steeplechase, gold medalist from Kenya. Uh, the spectators may say that uh, the people of the, this village or this in uh, Ettenbach will agree tomorrow to see three medals, Olympic champions to be in the race tomorrow. I think they will be grateful for this people of Ettenbach. I'm Kananisa Bekele, Olympic double champion, five and ten. Uh, from Ethiopia. It is very special to, uh, to me because uh, I won here uh, World Cross Country 2008 uh, in, in Edinburgh. So I like uh, all the time, you know, uh, to run here. It's a great place. Capruto is uh, he having, you know, uh, chance because you know his his face was his distance was 3,000. The you know. Uh, he can run, you know, free at uh, steeplechase, so maybe he will uh, get advantage more than us. This is the, my uh, first race this season, and I hope I will do my best tomorrow. I'm not saying uh, anybody can win, but for me, I will do my best. Well, three great champions and a mouth-watering race in prospect. All of them a little, perhaps slightly out of their comfort zone and taking on some of uh, the best British talent as well. One or two old familiar names. You can see Tony Whiteman jumping up and down in the middle, but a man who did well, in fact, won this race last year, the short course, Ricky Stevenson, lining up against these well, almost legends, aren't they? Elliot Kipchoge, world champion, all the way back in 2003 when he was just a youngster, really and has been a great friend of this event in Edinburgh, loves competing here. Good to see him back. And what a season it was for Brimen Kipruto. I remember watching him just miss the world record in Monaco just before the World Championships. Great performance there, looking for a good start to 2012. Asbel Kiprop, undoubtedly the best 1500 meter in the world, has become the world champion as well as, of course, as the Olympic champion, which was finally awarded to him in December. His gold medal was finally given to him in December. And a huge cheer for Kenanisa Bekele. Great to see him back. It's been a little while, of course, that race in Brussels, I mentioned earlier on this afternoon, really showed that, well, anyone who thought that he wasn't going to be a factor in 2012 has to think again. So just three kilometres, one short lap, and then a big lap. And will they go hard from the start? Will there be a bit of cat and mouse here? It's a chance for, as I said, some of the British distance runners to rub shoulders with these great names. Casado, uh, one or two other people we haven't mentioned, uh, some of the best European athletes in here as well, Olmedo, who's the European indoor champion, and Casado, the outdoor champion, both in this race as well. So a little bit of jostling at the beginning. That's uh, Kipchoge, Kiprop on the far side in the yellow, Kipchoge in the black vest right at the front alongside Casado. Casado, the European 1500 meter champion, Kipchoge, the former world 5000 meter champion, Kiprop, the world and Olympic 1500 meter champion. And Steve, you said, would they get off to a fast start? Well, I think Kipchoge's just answered you that one. They've gone flying off, but the talent has emerged immediately at the front. Kenanisa Bakili just behind that group there, working his way through in about fifth or sixth place. 
Capruto, the steeplechase champion on the outside in the green vest, and Ricky Stevenson, who won this race two years ago, putting himself in a good place there. But you can tell whenever Kipchoge's in shape, whenever he's in a race, he goes to the front as much as he can, he goes as soon as he can there, and there he goes, stretching it out already. I mentioned the name of uh, Tony Whiteman. He's uh, started off fairly slowly, not quite as fast. 39 years of age now, Tony Whiteman. And the last saw, time I saw him running, Brent, was about a month ago. It's some cross-country relays, university relays in Leeds. And he out-sprinted. He was in the first leg, and they'd all sort of ignored him. And he had a kick like he was 21 years of age. And the whole crowd who were watching cheered as he got those long legs moving. And he said, I can't believe I've just done that. I was out celebrating Kelly Holmes's birthday last night and I had a few too many. He says, but I can still produce a sprint finish. So it's good to see him back. And he has ambitions, for, I think, Brent, to break the world record for over 40s, I think, yeah, next year. He wants to run a sub four minute mile at the age of 40, which would be fantastic if that was possible. But back to the race itself and Kipchoge stretching there. Ricky Stevenson running well just behind him running strongly in that position and Kennedy's a Bikili and let's be honest he, he runs whenever he runs the, the inevitable result is that he comes first and whenever he doesn't win then there's a the, the inquiry starts is he past his best is he ever going to be good again and he shocked us all last year he ran the world championships at the 10,000 meters dropped out and then we saw him line up in Brussels and we thought my goodness he shouldn't be running in Brussels he shouldn't have been running in the world cross country he suddenly runs the fastest 10,000 meters in the world last year and uh, back he's back in action well, it's young Ross Millington who's uh, ignoring all of those facts and figures and everything else and the big names around him he's based at, uh, at the University of New Mexico the European silver medalist under 23 sorry silver medalist at 5,000 meters from Stockport Harriers is not frightened of those big names behind him Kipchoge in second place as they complete the first kilometer Kiprop, tall, lovely looking runner, isn't he? Kiprop, Ricky Stevenson just behind him. Kennedy Sabakele, a good 15 metres adrift of these leaders, and well, there's only two kilometres to go. You might want to see him a bit closer than that. Kipruto, there he is, there's Bakele. And uh, that's a bit further back than you might have expected if he's going to win this. It's not where you would want him to be, it's not where he would want to be. He said he's been training well, things have been going well. He hasn't. He says, I haven't got the speed that I expect to have later in the year, but I expect, fully expect to run well. And Kipchoge in second place there, Kip Rob, and there's Kennedy Zabakili just behind Kip Ruto, and he's certainly going to have to get a move on now. One kilometre behind them, two kilometres to go, Ross Millington stretching them out, but the tall figure, Asbel Kiprop who recently received his gold medal, finished second in the Olympic Games, and the winner, Ramsey, was disqualified for drug-taking, which was a real shame for him that he couldn't collect his gold medal in Beijing, but he waited four years to collect his gold medal from Beijing in December. And he, don't forget, was world junior cross-country champion, as was Elliot Kipchoge, world junior cross-country champion. So if you look at the pedigree of these athletes, apart from them being recent stars on the track, they actually can run in the country as well. Kenneth Zabakili is in trouble now. He's given them far too much start. His fitness levels, well, they're not what he told us they were. He's not in the position he should be, and he's not going to win this race from there now. Well, somebody's got to do something about Ross Millington and Kiprop trying to go with him. Higuero in third place. The Spaniard is a familiar figure. There's Bikili, really is struggling there. Mark Mitchell must be thinking, what's going on here? i am just got past Kenanisa Bikili in a cross-country race in Edinburgh. Well, he's obviously struggling either with the conditions or fitness. I'm not sure which. But at the front, Millington's got a good five-metre lead here ahead of Kiprop. Then Higuero, Kipchoge, Ricky Stevenson's in there. Young Johnny Hay also going well. Callum Hawkins behind him. Bit of a gap. He's wearing the yellow vest. A little further adrift. So only Kiprop hanging on to Ross Millington. The Stockport Harriet. Proudly wearing his vest, as I said. Based in the US now. Hurdles that one nicely. But Kiprop, the 1,500-meter world champion, He's not bad, though, in uh, longer events, and I've seen him run a couple of good sort of cross-country and road races, Kip Rob, and it's good to see him doing this. I think, you know, good 1,500 metres runners should be prepared to come out in January and be competitive over this sort of event. Well, I'm sure this is the sort of event you would have relished in your time, as would have Steve Ovet and 
Seb Coasty, but there's the Olympic double Olympic champion, and he's clearly not in the form. He's not appreciating the mud there. He's not running well through the mud. Just behind the steeplechase champion Kip Ruto, and there's surprises all over this race. This is a surprise to see him back there after him coming back in good shape. As we look at the lead now, and Kip Rop. The Olympic 1500 meter champion, the world 1500 meter champion, striding out. Let's not forget his pedigree. He was world junior cross country champion in the past, and he now looks to be very comfortable on the course. He looks to be very comfortable with the field, and he's. I bet he's surprised at how far ahead of this field he is already. Look at that, the tall, rangy figure of Asbel Kiprop. An athlete will certainly be seeing feature in London. Whatever happens, you can guess he's going to be there. Ricky Stevenson running well in that group too. Kip Chogi there going through. Johnny Hay running well. And now the two Olympic champions, Kip Ruto and Bakili, struggling as Kip Rob goes onto the far side of the course for the first time. He actually looks leisurely, but his legs are so long and his pace is so powerful that he's just edging away all the time. He has this languid style, which is sometimes deceptive to people. He can really turn on the pace. The only thing that I think all of us get frustrated with Kiprop on the track is that sometimes he doesn't concentrate. And today he's done that pretty well, though. You could be certainly not blamed for losing concentration in a cold cross-country event in January. And I'm not quite sure what's wrong with either Kipruta or Bikili, but I thought they would have been much more competitive than this. I mean, there are some young British athletes in between Kiprop and Bikili who will be absolutely thrilled with how they're going. Just watch here. We've got, there's Johnny Hay there in the black vest, alongside Ed Millington, who's just struggling a little bit. Ricky Stevenson, who ran went so well here last year. But they'll be able to say, if they manage to hold on to that position, that they finished ahead of Bikili. But no doubt about the winner at this at the moment, Bren, he looks so comfortable. Asbel Kiprop, the Olympic 1500 metre champion, climbing this hill as though it doesn't really exist. Looking over his shoulder and he'll see his teammate who won this race last year, Elliot Kipchoge, comes, turns the top and then begins to stretch, begins to try and run close to him. But he's moving so leisurely, he's moving so well. The world champion last year at 1500 metres and a man just have a look at him now because you'll be seeing him star of the show in London in the 1500 meters we look forward to seeing him there but we look forward to him finishing this race 200 meters to go over the stream down the hill and watch him he can just relax and he's won this race by a mile and he really hasn't looked as though he's been stretched too much at all has he those long legs stretching away and the world 1500 meter champion, the Olympic 1500 meter champion now, winning in fine style here in Edinburgh. A great start to the year for Asbel Kiprop. Look forward to watching him in London in August. He wins it and a real scrap on. Johnny Hay coming through to take second place. And Kipchoge just holding off Higuero. Ricky Stevenson next across the line. Ross Millington, a real brave effort for him, who led for so long. Then young Callum Hawkins, a local lad. His brother Derek ran earlier on. Then Casado. And then they start streaming across the line as Bikili just outkicks Kipruto. Well, the two Olympic champions there, not running so well, but this one certainly did. They were in 11th and 12th place, but this is our winner. Great shape, finishing like a champion. Asbel Kiprop and Johnny Hay coming through, beating Elliot Kipchoge on the run-in. Well, that is a breakthrough race for Johnny Hay. Fantastic performance. Ricky Stevenson coming through, former winner. And then we're waiting a little while for the double Olympic champion, five and 10,000 metres. There he comes, Kennedy Zabakili. Well, well that's about he's got Kip some Rob work to do. Now, uh, world champion, Olympic champion, and now the Edinburgh champion. How pleased were you with that run? Well, I was excited. I mean, I'm, I'm excited having won here this, today. Um, I was uh, second last year, and I came here, I wanted to prove a point. And, you know, obviously you had Kenanisa Bekele in the race, you had Brimming Kit Ruto. Were you expecting a greater challenge from them? Well, I expected a very tough competition from them, and uh, I was surprised to see that um, the, 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 uh, the, the other guys came also. I mean, and, and they were also very tough. 
Yeah. And what's next for you now? Um, I'm preparing. I mean, this is my um, focus ahead of the Olympic Games in London. Yes. Well, we look forward to seeing you defend your Olympic title. Many congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, that sort of rounds up the live action for the start.